But yeah, um, <clears throat> after King Hush Hush performs, um, you know, his single Attitude Problem, um, we're going to get right into um, King Hush Hush versus Vocab. And that'll be our first uh, main event. Um, we're trying to do the main events. There's a triple, it's a triple header main event. But we're trying to do the, we're not trying to run the all three main events at the end in a row. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to, you know, put them in between. But um, we're going to get right into the first main event, um, <clears throat> which will be King Hush Hush versus Vocab. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Um, King Hush Hush, shout out to the homie Hush. Um, he's also co-founder of Ahab Washington. He helped me um, start, you know, this division, you know. And, um, you know what I'm saying, um, he's good people. He's, um, he's had, uh, you know, he's had a, a, a lot of, cr um, controversial, um, battles with a lot of people. And, um, probably, um, not only, but one of the battlers in Washington scene, in the Washington scene that, you know, um, has a lot of controversy, you know, controversy with a lot of, um, other battlers in you know in in the same region and state so um he will be going up against you know um seattle grind time vet vocab you know vocab's been around since the um grind time fresh coast days you know what i'm saying he was he was around that era um other than mike phenom and h bomb he was one of the um other grind time cats from seattle you know back you know in, in the start you know, started that era, but, um, shout out to the homie vocab, um, look, really looking forward to this battle, you know what I'm saying, we got, you know, Ahab Washington, you know, co-founder, you know what I'm saying, up against, you know, grind time Seattle vet, you know, so that's, you know, that's, that should be a real good one, I think, um, vocab will be coming with, like, a little lyrical comedy approach, you know what I'm saying, and, um, I also think it's gonna, you know, he's gonna get on some, um, touch on some personal bases, you know, uh, you know, for Hush, you know, especially, uh, I'm not gonna talk about it, but what happened at the November event, you know what I'm saying, but, um, I feel like, you know, Vocab's gonna touch on that, and, you know, it should be a good battle, and then you got, um, then Hush, you know, I think Vocab is gonna come with that comedy, you know, lyricism and a lot of personals for King Hush. I think Hush, on Hush's side, he's, you know, I've, I, you know, I've heard some of his stuff for vocab. And all I can say is don't sleep on Hush. You know what I'm saying? His last battle with Jade was with Jay the Nightwing. And it, it was only a one rounder, but Hush was touching on a lot of subjects. You know what I'm saying? And his, his approach, his delivery is really, you know, on point, you know, when he wants to be on. So, and I feel like, you know, why, you know, Hush also got advantage to this battle too is because this is just because vocab is around that was from Seattle and around that grind time era, just like Mike Phenom was. And, um, this is the closest I think Hush can get to Mike Phenom. And that's my reason for that is because I know we probably ain't never going to see King Hush Hush versus Mike Phenom anytime soon. You know what I'm saying? Unless, you know, some shit died down and they agree to something. But as for happening, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Um, we would like to see it happen. But I think this is the closest King Hush can get to Mike Phenom. Just because Mike Phenom and, and, and Vocab is around that same era. You know what I'm saying? They have probably the the uh, same resume when it comes to, um, um, you know what I'm saying, um, being active in that grind time era. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is going to be a good battle. You know, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, that's going to be our first main event. Shout out to the homie King Hush Hush, you know what I'm saying? Also, you know, runs this Ahab Washington thing with me, you know what I'm saying, and um, the homie vocab, you know, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, after that battle, after that first main event, um, we're gonna get back to you know, regular schedule with um, improv versus King Curtis. That's gonna be a real, um, 
that's gonna be a real crazy battle, and it's um, two different styles. You know, what I'm saying um, these are both young up and comers. Um, they probably been battling for at least two years now, or almost. You know, what I'm saying um, they've been in it for a while, but the thing about them is they're both still young. So you know. I like to call them, you know, probably the future of Washington battle rap. You know what I'm saying? And with battles they've already had, they've already made big impacts, you know. But, um, there's, you know, they still got a long way to go just because they're still young. And, um, but, you know, at the same time, they're dope. Um, that should be a real good one, you know. Um, I think King Curtis, he spits more real shit in his um, battles. Plus, you know, like, like he puts the real in his battles, like the real shit. Like, he always talks about real shit, and it gets down to breaking down his opponent, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, that should be a good one. And he's going to be going, you know, improv, you know. Improv got that little sadistic, um, crazy, you know, lyricism that, you know, he got his own style. He's, uh, him and King Curtis are in a style of their own, you know, class of their own. So, this should be a dope battle, um. If I was to call it, it's probably 2-1 either way, you know. But other than that, this is one of the battles that you want to really look forward to. And it's going to be really hype. But um, shout out to, um, oh yeah, and um, King Curtis coming out of West Seattle and um, Improv is coming out of Renton. So that, you know, that should be a good one. You know what I'm saying? Two cities that, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Two areas in Seattle, you know. But it's about to be crazy, you know what I'm saying? Um <sighs> Let's get to, after that battle, we're going to get into Under Rhyme Hustler. You know, shout out to Un, um, he repping BMFC. Um, him and the homie Biggs battle just dropped on the Ahab main page yesterday. So, you know, shout out to both MCs. Um, it was their battle from the December 20, our December 27th um, Elevated Creations event. Um, and that was the main event. So, um, shout out to OD for putting on um, main page and... You know, um, letting their fan base um, expand a little more. But um, under Rhyme Hustler, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's about, uh, he's coming off uh, that battle with Biggs. You know, he, he, he did, you know, he had a real good performance. And, you know, it was good enough to um, where he got on the main page. You know what I'm saying? So um, he's going to be going up against... Jay the Nightwing, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be, that's going to be a crazy battle. You know, um, Jay the Nightwing, he's, he, he also has an unorthodox style, but, you know, um, kind of like, you know, um, almost like, uh, I mean, he, 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 I wouldn't say he, he, he has antics cause he doesn't take it as far as daylight. But he, he, he does have that antique style where and w probably in one of, you know, like uh, as far as he goes, he goes, you know, it's probably the, with the goggles. You know, that's about it. But um, you may never know what he might pull down his sleeve, you know, like um, later on in the future and stuff. But he, he you know, he, he kind of got like an antique approach um, and he's unorthodox. And, but but his, his lyricism and wordplay is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you got to listen to it, you know. Um, he starts, when, when he comes with his wordplay and his punchlines, it, it starts off a little slow. Like, he, he's explaining the situation and the hype. So when he punches, you know, when he does his, you know, punch punchline and stuff, it hits hard, you know. But he let, he, make, he he makes sure he explains it to everybody. But, you know, he, he you know, he's one of the, one of my favorite up-and-comers, you know, in um, the Northwest battle scene right now. So... That's going to be a dope battle, you know, um, Under Rhyme Hustler versus Jay the Nightwing. That's going to be a real good battle and, um, you know, um, anticipated matchup, you know. So it should, you know, it's going down. After that, we're going to get right into, um, who MT Money versus RG. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to MT Money. He's coming out of Bellingham, um, He's probably um, more known in his music, in the music scene, Bellingham music scene, than his battles. Um, he's only been probably active, like, 
I could say at least a year or two now, and but he's already made a a, a little impact in battling too. He he's had a a lot of battles so far, you know, and within a year span, you know, he's 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 been involved in a couple uh, matchups, and yeah, you know, and you know he he's came, you know, he's come with it, you know, so um, he's only getting better each battle, so that should be a real good battle. Um, going up against RG, RG's been in. Um, you know, the Washington battle scene since the early ABL days, you know what I'm saying? So that's, you know, um, RG, he took like a, probably like a, at least a two-year or one-year hiatus off of battle rap. Then he came back and battled D-Goods on the ABL platform and um, took another little long break. And then that's when we had him um, battle at a December 27th event um, against Script for $400. And he ended up winning that battle and at 400 But, um... Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's he's the battle with Script, you know, was probably the best I've seen from him. You know, he, he still came with it and you know he's only getting better, you know, within each battle. So RG versus MT Money's a real good one. And I know they're both gonna be prepared for this battle because um they were supposed to battle um at Ahab Washington's very first event on May second, which was um fresh start. They were supposed to battle at that event. But um Due to personal issues, you know, one of the battlers couldn't show up, you know, so we couldn't make it. So that battle didn't go down, but now it's going to go down, you know, so I'm really looking forward to that battle. And um, I know they got some stuff, you know, saved up, you know, and been sitting on some shit. Yep. And then um, after that, we're going to have um, JP versus Heretic, you know. Shout out to the Ink Boys. That's what JP's repping. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, a real Tacoma uh, vet. You know what I'm saying? That dude, JP is a is a big name in Washington battle rap. And um, he's also, he's like one of those battlers. He's also, he's one of those top, top battlers that people love to hate. But. You know, he never disappoints in his battles. But a lot of people hate him. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and, and it's, it's like real controversial. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people can can not like him as a battler or it's just probably his style or by the way he, he introduces himself, you know, as a battler. But, you know, he's really dope and he's one of the tops in Washington battle rap. You know what I'm saying? He's been doing this for a while. You know what I'm saying? And, um... His battles have been, uh, you know, real controversial with a few battlers he hasn't, you know, and, um, you know, he's battled against, you know. But um, that should be a good one. He's going up against 4MC's, by MC's president, and, um, you know, saying Heretic. Um, and, oh, yeah, and, and shout out to the homie Heretic, you know what I'm saying? Um, he, he, you know, he's been, you know, since Ahab Washington started, you know, he's been there, you know, um, supported us and, you know, helped us out in a lot of, you know, um, not only promotion, but, you know, getting battlers on this stage, you know. So, you know, shout out to the homie Heretic. Um, he's president of uh, 4MCs, by MCs. His last battle with Ahab Washington was our very first event, which was against Sir Fresh. So, uh, this is second battle coming back to Ahab Washington. He will be going up against... Um, JP. So that's going to be a real good battle. You know what I'm saying? I'm really looking forward to that one. Heretic got that style, you know, that 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 wordplay, lyricism, you know what I'm saying? He got a little uh, 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 comedy in, in, in his stuff too, but, you know, he got that, 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 that wordplay, that lyricism that he's just going to, and, you know, he tries to get uh, even a little personal on his, uh, on his stuff too, but that's going to be a real good battle. So, because um, they both actually called each other out and um, battles they had, like when Heretic battled Mike Gale, Heretic had a line about JP. And when JP battled um, Hype, JP had a line about Heretic. So, you know, this battle, you know, I can tell that both these battlers wanted to battle each other for, you know, a while now. So, this should be a real good battle, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is one battle I'm really looking forward to. And, um, yeah, so shout out to the homie JP, shout out to Ink Boys, shout out to um, Heretic and 4MCs, by MCs. That's going to be a crazy ass matchup. After that, we're going to get into 8-Man Cypher. And um, 
that's probably because I want to um, probably the after the eight man cipher is going to be, you know, the two last two battles, the main events. So the eight man cipher, I'm, you know, it's going to be, you know, like the to wake up the crowd a little, you know, like, uh, you know, get get a little blood rolling in everybody, you know, so everybody can wake up before the last two events, you know, main events. It will be the eight man cipher. You know, it's going to be eight people. Eight battlers um, soon to be announced, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's going to be rapping on a beat. Each battler is going to have, like, get to spit 16 bars, you know. And then they're going to just rap it on that beat um, over there at the March 14th Northwest Mania event. So it's about to be dope, you know what I'm saying? I'm really looking forward to that cypher. And um, after that, we're going to have, um, we're going to jump in right into um, the second main event. That will be AD out of BMFC. Um Tacoma, Washington, um, going up against Seattle Vet El Solo, you know what I'm saying? Whew, that's going to be a crazy one, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like, you know, El Solo's been, he's a vet, you know, a seasoned vet. He's been, he's been, in, he's been in the battle scene for a long time. The Washington battle scene, you know, since the beginning of the ABL days. Um, he's been around the scene for a while. That, um... He's had a lot of classic good, you know, great battles against a lot of big names. And, you know, a lot of big names. So, um, you know, his last his last battle with Star, you know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't really that impressive. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, there, there's always room to bounce back. And I feel like he's going to bounce back against AD. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I already know he's going to be on this stuff. He, you know... Every battler has that one battle that, you know, they're not really proud of, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, El Solo's resume speaks for itself. And he's had a a great battle career and, you know, and his name to go along with it. You know what I'm saying? He's he's done a lot. You know, I can only speak highly of, you know, so that's my boy, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I know how, you know, I know how big of an impact he's made and, you know, and, and uh, people, people, he's like one of the, he's, he's, he's like one of the names from Washington that a lot of people ask for, you know, like that's coming from out of town. They'd be all like, I want to battle El Solo, you know, cause they know it's a good look also. So El Solo making his return after that star battle, he's going to be going up against AD. Um, AD's last battle, his debut battle in um, um, Ahab Washington, he went up against Tay Martin. It was okay. I think the crowd slept a little bit, but, you know, you can't really say that either, you know, but, um, I wouldn't say, you know, but, you know, it was just, the battle wasn't, you know, didn't really live up to, you know, it was cool, you know, but it got a, you know, um, the crowd slept a lot in that battle, but other than that, AD, he, his last battle with, um, Blue Jacket, he really proved himself, you know, uh, of what he's capable of, and, and and AD's also been in the the battle scene for a while now. You know what I'm saying? So everybody know what he's capable of. He got that intense hype, aggression kind of style. So you know I'm really looking forward to this battle. So that's gonna be a a, a real bar fest. So AD versus El Solo, Northwest Mania, March 14th. Then we got our last battle, the final main event. You know what I'm saying? Portland Zone, Grind Time Vet. Ahab Washington star, you know what I'm saying? Um, young Nate going to get going up against the um, leader of IMG, you know what I'm saying? Ink Boys, you know what I'm saying? Mike L. Shout out to the homie Mike L. IMG, Ink Boys. Shout out to Young Nate, Money Gang, you know what I'm saying? Portland in the building. Um, that's going to be a crazy battle, you know what I'm saying? That's the final battle, his main event. Young Nate, ever since he's been in here, you know, um, ever since he's He's made a, a big impact, you know, in Grind Time Northwest. And then, ever since he made his debut battle in Ahab Washington against Loons, he's, you know, he's 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 the most controversial, but most controversial, probably most sought off, um, you know, um, not sought off, sought out battle rapper. Like a lot of people, with top names, um, want to battle him. He's considered top three in a lot of people's, you know top five, top three list, you know what I'm saying, um, he's, he's been doing his thing, and he's really been, 
putting on some classic performances, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a great one. And he's going up against Mike Gale. Mike's, Mike Gale's had a lot of great battles of a lot of, and, and has a, a lot of great opponents, you know what I'm saying, in this, um, you know, Washington scene, you know what I'm saying? So Mike Gale's been around for a while, you know, so... And young Nate's also been away for you know been around for a while, so you know that's gonna be a a great matchup, you know, and it's gonna be the final main event for our March fourteenth Northwest Mania event. So I'm really looking forward to that one. You know, that's all I can say about that battle. It's gonna be a classic, you know, hands down. I'm really looking forward to that battle, and it's gonna be crazy. Um, other than that, that's my blog for um, you know Northwest Mania. March 14th. Shout out to Dante's for letting us get their venue. Again, this is going to be our third event at Dante's. You know what I'm saying? Right in the U District. You know what I'm saying? Seattle. So, you know, come through. You know, it's um, from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, 18 and up. It's about to be crazy. You know, you don't want to miss this. You know, um, Ahab Washington. Shout out to Alliance Battle League. 4 MCs by MCs. Um, Northwest Battle League. Portland, Washington. You know what I'm saying? Um, high noon, everybody that fuck with us, you know what I'm saying, um, 2015 is our year, shout out to OD, Danny Myers, um, all the A-Hat divisions, Vegas, Cali, Texas, Utah, you know what I'm saying, man, it's all of them, you know what I'm saying, um, but, you know, 2015, A-Hat Washington, we coming strong, this Northwest movement only getting better and better, you know what I'm saying, so, shout out to all the MCs that, you know, the, you know, and all the, uh, you know, fans that, you know, you know, really fuck with us on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying, so, you know what I'm saying, Ahab Washington, Northwest Mania, Rum 206, Ahab Washington president, so we in here, 2015, you know, is our year, you know, don't miss, but, you know,